Day number two, back out on the green. Um, we floated section A yesterday, and I'm going solo with Brian, and then uh, Gary and Jake are with Brad today. And so we're floating a new section of the river. It's a section B. Section B, putting in that little hole. We're gonna kinda run all of B and down into C a ways, see if we can't get down below Red Creek first and have first shot at some of those bigger fish that live below Red Creek. Is there big differences as far as the water and stuff in B versus A or? B's a little more open, kind of more sustained riffles, but it's still a pull and drop river like the A. Once, we'll be... once you go through Red Creek, it washes a lot of silt in, so you'll see the vegetation and bugs drop and fish numbers drop a little. But uh, some nicer fish down there too. Nice. Yeah. Fishing, probably fishing most of the dries again today, or which all dries, all dries, so all dries all day. Another beautiful day. Yeah. Anyways, we're gonna go give it a shot. Oh, well, easy release. Perfect. <laughs> nice. Oh, that's so much fun. It's like, yeah. Dang. <laughs> oh, man. Feisty. All right. Lunchtime. Had a good morning. Just uh, throwing uh, hoppers. Just throwing them up next to the bank. Managed to boat a few, few trout. Um, had a few, few risers. Missed a few, but uh, just a great float on section B here. But yeah, they're cooking up some lunch. Got a full course meal over there, and uh, they do it right. 
beautiful float this morning beautiful weather just like yesterday section b's um it doesn't have as big as deep canyons it's kind of a little bit more open and and seems like maybe there's a few more bugs along the banks um throwing throwing those hoppers up next to the bank and just just really cool watching those when you, when you can see those fish just what come up and take it and they're just kind of sipping it and uh it's it's really really cool really fun um so yep gonna eat some eat a bite and get after it again this afternoon all right we're back at it again we all got full bellies so let's go all the way to the grass down there ahead of us <laughs> yes. Nice. Yeah, that was the slowest. Oh, that was awesome. Oh, <laughs> nice fish. Ooh, that's a big fish. Part of that does he? No, he does not. There we go. Yep. His head's almost up. Oh, so close. Yeah, now see if he can lift his head. Now I get that head up, does he? Hey, all right. Well, that's the biggest fish yet. Nice. What a scoop, man. Yeah. Oh, man. Nice fish. Nice. Beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. So much fun. 22 inches. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> That's so cool, thanks dude. That <laughs> That's so awesome just watching him. Such a cool heat. Like the way he followed it out from the bank and I... he went downstream of it and came back. We're all the way in that soft spot in the shade. <laughs> oh! That's a diver, man. Fighting like a bulldog. Oh yeah. Got, oh yeah. It's zapped by a yeah. heron tried to bonk him. He's probably glad those things are gone for the winter. Yeah. <laughs> just got off the water, great day. Just another awesome float on the green. Just such a beautiful river with some big, big fish, lots of fish. And uh, just um, it lived up to, to its expectation. Basically just kept a hopper on the whole time and uh, all day long and it was just nice putting on the hopper and watching those browns just come up and sip that sip that fly right off top it's pretty cool so but. any guys we got one more day here tomorrow we're not sure what we're going to do but it'll be we'll be wade fishing whatever it is so we don't have a guide for tomorrow so we'll probably go explore and get into something tomorrow